Good morning. I know we are I'm a little bit behind schedule this morning because I am moving very slowly today. I did a full day Zumba training yesterday where we did dance drills for hours and hours and hours. And I'm not moving very well. <laughs> so they have a little extra effort to get going here this morning. Um, we will get started in just a minute. As always, I want to take a moment to let everybody have time to find the class, but also to share this um, in a couple of my groups. So just bear with me for a moment. While I get that link and share it, and then we will get started. Uh, all right. We do have Rose with us this morning. I don't know if you can see her. She's a little bit off camera here. But I'm sure she's ready to get into trouble. <laughs> so we'll share this. Nope, that didn't work. All right, just give me one second. Probably like a minute. Oh, and another thing is we forgot to add more dates to the Facebook event here. So it's not showing up in current events on your calendar anymore because we forgot to add more to it and then once the last one goes by you cannot actually add more dates so this is showing as a past event even though it's still going on so don't let that confuse you i will still be going live on friday mornings and wednesday not wednesday <laughs> no this is tuesday tuesday mornings and a friday afternoons for yoga um, but it's not going to show as new dates because we can't add them but as long as Facebook can continues to let me share it. Hmm. I don't know if that's working or not. It's not. Okay. All right. I'm... Hopefully people will find us. I can't seem to even share the link. I don't know what's going on. Good morning, Michelle, Jill, and Shirley, and to anybody else. It might be a small class today. Not that it matters because we're all in our own houses since, oh, <laughs> I can't seem to get it to share. Okay, I'm just going to get some music started and we're going to get going. This morning's class is going to be slightly self-serving and we're going to be doing a longer stretch because I desperately need it. <laughs> so here's hoping I don't fall right over. <laughs> Oh, I need my peppermint. Let's start with our march. Standing nice and tall. This is actually the perfect class. Well, maybe yoga would be even more perfect. I don't know. To have after a long training day. Because I get to do some slow movements <laughs> instead of jumping right into something crazy and we do a lot of marching on the spot that's just going to help get the blood flowing four three Two, let's go to a step touch. So, nope, that's not a step touch. Oh dear. Step together, step together. Oh, guys, my brain. <laughs> it's going to come together here. Let's take it to a march. I 
And then we're going to do a heel tag, heel and heel. That's actually what I meant to do the first time. Reach an arm out. Yeah, so normally I share our feed link in my Facebook groups as we start and it just brings the live video right up for them. But this morning that's not working, so I don't know what's going on there. So between that and the fact that there was no notification that went out to remind you that I was going live this morning, hopefully people are able to find us. Let's use both arms. And march. We'll glue down the heels and tap our toes. Four, three, two, back to our march. Let's take it out a little bit wider. And we're going to add a reach. So we reach up and up. Take it across the front. back up and we march let's glue down our heels we'll tap our toes Four, three, two, march. Let's take it to a step touch, step together, step together. And into a hamstring curl. And to a knee lift. Four, three, two, march. Let's go back to our heel dig, heel and heel. Actually reach both arms out. Let's take it up. And take your foot to a toe tap. So reaching your foot out, tap the toe back to the front with the arms. Take your arms out to the side. to the front, take it back up, 
four, three, two, march. All right, let's take a quick, quick break. Let's see if I can share that again. Hi, Holly. And I gotta turn my fan on too, because I am warm. Warm, warm, warm. I must be able to just press the share button. No, oh, there is no share button. I see. Oh, good grief. It's one of those days where everything's going to not work correctly, isn't it? Okay, that's it. All right. Hello, Pat. Gosh. That's terrible. Okay. Not much I can do about it. Okay, let's get my fan on here. Turn on fan. There we go. Gosh. All right, let's go back to our heel dig. So we realized yesterday, well, Ashley at the town of Campbell realized yesterday that she hadn't added more dates to the Facebook event and you can't do it after the last date has passed. I've done that before myself. It's kind of annoying. Anyway, now that this event is technically in the past, a lot of the functionality apparently has disappeared with that because before anytime I shared the live feed, it would show the video would show right up and now it's just a link. Uh, anyway, let's do both arms together. If you see that moving in the corner, that's Rose. Oh, there she is. <laughs> anyway, we didn't think we were going to have to bother with a new Facebook event, but I think maybe I will have to make a new one. I don't know. Let's go to a curl press. So curl press, curl press. Couple more times. And we march. Take it out wide. And bring it back in. Out wide. And in. Out wide. And in. Then let's walk forward and back. We go forward, two, three, back, two, three. Come forward and back. Two, 
two more times. Last one. Right into a step touch, opposite direction from what we were doing earlier. With our arms, we're going to add a little shoulder raise or elbow raise, really. So we lift and lower, lift and lower. Let's take it tempo. Stay with your step touch, but we're going to switch the arms. We're going to reach, pull, pull, pull. And march, march. All right, let's glue one foot down. With the opposite foot will step out to the side, shifting our weight and stepping back in. So take your time. One more time, and then we're going to take it front and back. So I'm going to turn to the side. We step front and back. And then let's combine the two. So we're going to come forward to the side, back, and together. To the side, back, and together. Two more times around. And then we're going to put our weight in our standing foot, a little bend in the knee, and we tap front, side, back, together. If you're feeling pretty good, you can go into a balance. One more. Remember which leg you're using in March. And then we'll glue down the opposite leg. We step out, shifting our weight, and step in.
And then we'll take it front and back. We step forward, shifting our weight forward. Step back, shifting your weight back. And then we'll combine the two. So we'll come forward to the side, back, and together. You're doing great. I can feel it. I can feel it. One more time around. And then we're going to put our weight in our stationary foot and tap front, side, back, together. Two more times around. If you want to go into that balance, you can. And then let's march. If you want to grab a drink, go right ahead. I am going to. Good morning, Ellen. Hi, Anna Maria. I have to use a water bottle today, which is much harder to use than the tumblers I usually use. But all of my tumblers are dirty because every time my husband washes the dishes, he only does the dishes he wants to do. And apparently washing a cup is too challenging. It's like the easiest thing because it just has water in it. You just but he won't do it, so I'm going to go upstairs and do dishes, even though he did dishes the last two days. <sighs> Boys, am I right? <laughs> he'll take heel and heel. So there's this whole pile of tumblers and things that can't go in the dishwasher that would take 45 seconds to wash that have been sitting there since the last time I hand washed dishes. But instead he'll wash like the super gross pan, which I mean, I would rather him do that because I hate washing dishes but it legit takes 20 seconds to wash those tumblers, so I do not understand. It's very easy. Just a few more here. And we're gonna do some of our walking patterns this morning. So we're gonna start by walking our tight rope. Heel to toe the best to your ability. And you don't have to stay in front of your screen. You can take a 
tight walk, tight rope walk around the room you're in. Remember, you want to challenge yourself, but you don't want to feel like you're going to fall right over. So if this is the best you can do right now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to look ahead instead of straight down, if possible. If you have pets who are going to try and trip you, definitely watch the floor. Do a couple more. And then we'll march. We're not going to do all of them this morning because I don't think I physically am able to, <laughs> to execute all of them. We'll do some of them. So we're going to come up onto our tiptoes, a little bend in our knee, two steps, pause, two steps, pause. And we'll march. So this next one, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do the whole thing. We're gonna bend the knees. Oh, we're gonna hinge forward with the hips a little bit. Lift up your toes, or if you can come up onto your heels. I am 100% gonna fall over if I lift up my heels. So I'm just gonna lift up my toes. And again, making short steps. But if you can, come up onto your toes. I have to hold on to something. I don't have the core strength this morning to hold myself up. And let's march. And then for our last one, we're going to do our exaggerated walk. You're going to lift your knees high as we go. Push your foot straight down. Heel, ball, toe. Heel, ball, toe. Again, really short steps. And then we're gonna march. We are gonna be doing some chair yoga. So you're gonna need a chair or sturdy coffee table or something to sit on. So I'm gonna give you a couple seconds to grab something. I'm gonna get my chair and I'm gonna get a drink of water. Because I know you may have to set up your, your spot a little bit differently. Oof. All right, we're going to start with our regular seated exercises. So we're going to do our toe taps. Sitting nice and tall, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Then we'll bring our feet together. We're going to open up our toes, heels, toes, go until you can't get any further, and bring it on back in.
The next time you bring your feet together, go ahead and stay there. Did we already do this? No, I don't think so. Last one, then same thing with the arms. Two more. And then we're gonna put our hands to the outside of our knees. A little bit of room between our feet. We're gonna lift with the inside of our shoes without letting our knees move. Watch those knees, otherwise they're gonna start Doing this. One more. And then we're going to put our hands between our knees. One more, and then we'll sit back in our chair, and we'll do some angle circles. Oh gosh, I can hardly even hold my leg up. And my pants are all twisted. What's happening here? Other direction. And then we'll switch legs. Anyone who joined us when the class is in progress. I did an eight hour Zumba course yesterday, switch directions. It's called Rhythms 3. So when you become a Zumba instructor, you learn the basic steps for four rhythms. Um, and then I, years ago, also did Rhythms 2, which was adding another four rhythms. And then yesterday I did Rhythms 3, which was another four rhythms. So yesterday we learned Brazilian funk, bongra. Afrobeat, so I was trying to remember how it was worded, and street heat, which is basically hip hop. Let's bring our hands onto our legs. We're gonna press down and round up. So I spent the entire day practicing all of those, like, my Fitbit clocked me in at five and a half hours of cardio yesterday. My calorie burn for the day was over 4,000. So I'm a little bit sore, especially through the back and core because there's so much hip movement and so much twisty movements. My legs are tired too, but I'm used to that. One more, and then we're gonna bring our arms behind, and we're gonna lean forward, opening up through the chest. Normally in courses, you know, even in fitness courses, it's like you do some exercise and you sit down and do some theory, and then you do some more exercise. There was no theory yesterday, it was <laughs> all exercise. At lunch, I had to change all of my clothes and I had to wring out my hair a number of times because it was like completely saturated and like a dripping faucet on the floor. It was gross. Come back up, make a fist, grab onto the fist, round through your back, lower your arms. Oh my gosh. And then we'll lace our fingers, press the palms away. So we are going to do a little bit of chair yoga. It's not going to have a proper yoga flow. It's just going to be us going from one pose to the next. Let's relax. But first, we're going to extend this leg. We're going to put the heel on the laces. Draw the knee up and down. And 
and then we're going to cross the ankle over our shin or if without using your hands if you can lift your leg up and bring it above the knee you can do that or bend the knee it was pretty great that I was able to take that course though because I think I think it was offered in New Brunswick maybe once but I'm not aware of it ever having been in Nova Scotia although I'm not super up like I don't check the calendar that often so I might be wrong there but I was able to do it without leaving my house and as an added perk I had my 10-year Zumba anniversary in March and they sent me a coupon code for a free training but of course everything had just shut down March 20th was my anniversary so I thought for sure that that was going to go for to waste because it was only good for 90 days but then last week actually I found out that they were doing the virtual trainings. They probably sent me an email that I didn't read. So I went and I looked, and the one for yesterday still had spots available, so I was able to use my coupon code, so I didn't have to pay for it. And I didn't have to cancel a bunch of things because we're doing this virtual thing. I have a yoga class on Mondays in my paid group, and I just did a replay for them so that they still had a yoga class, and I was able to take the course. That was pretty good. All right, let's try the other side. A lift and lower. And in a couple weeks' time, I'm taking a two-day yoga training that is one that was here in Nova Scotia, I'm going to say five years ago. Let's cross the ankle over the shin, staying here, or lifting up, or bending. And usually specialty trainings like that only come once every five or ten years so it's going to be a while probably before it ever came back to Nova Scotia and I was able to sign up for that virtually as well and I had a coupon code and it's going to be on a Wednesday Thursday so same thing I'm not going to have to change any classes because I can just give people some replays, so that's nice. So that's one good thing that has come out of all of this, is a lot of companies are offering virtual trainings that they never did before, and whether that becomes a permanent fixture of their business plan or not, at least I'm able to take advantage of it during this time when it is available. Though I hope that they do keep it up, especially yoga. Because obviously the trainings where you're learning actual yoga moves, you want to be in person for that so you can get corrections. But when you get into some of the higher up yoga trainings, it's all talking like brain science and stuff. And you don't need to be physically in the room with a person to do that. You can do that easily over video conferencing. And that's what my trainings mostly are now is talky-talky, not dewy-dewy. <laughs> All right, let's bring our leg down. We're going to roll our shoulders. And we're going to lower our ear towards the shoulder. If you want, you can flex the opposite hand. So I was talking to someone yesterday evening, briefly, about neck, shoulder, back injuries, how everybody's complaining about how sore they are now. So today we are spending a little extra time, partly because I'm so sore, but I'm betting you're sore too. Not from the same thing, but let's lift up and lower the opposite side. If you want to flex that opposite hand. Slowly lift, chin towards the chest. Slowly lift up and then we'll lower ear towards the shoulder, gently down towards the chest to the other shoulder.
Slowly lift up. Nice deep breath in. And as we exhale, let's turn to look towards the side wall. Holy moly, this hurts. Slowly back to the front. Inhale, exhale, look the other way. Turning back to the front, we're going to open our legs a little bit wider. Nice deep breath in, and as we exhale, we're going to come into a forward fold. So letting our arms and head hang heavy. You can have your arms to the inside of your legs or the outside, whatever is more comfortable for you. Inhale to prepare, and then very slowly use your hands to help you if you need to come back up into a seated position. We're going to leave our hands on our thighs. We're going to press down, round up, seated cat and cow. Relax those shoulders. And then back up nice and tall. We're going to reach one arm across the front into a shoulder stretch. So it's going to be up to you. You can stay right here in a shoulder stretch. If you want, you can come into a seated eagle. So you'd reach the opposite arm across. Maybe give yourself a little hug. You can stay here. Or you can try to start to bring the backs of your hands together. Or if you have the mobility, maybe bringing the palms then lift your elbows just a little bit. And relax. Let's go into a shoulder stretch on the opposite side. Reach the opposite arm on top if you like. Give yourself a hug. Choosing to stay here or starting to bring the backs of the hands together. Or the palms. Guys, I think I'm going to sneeze. Okay, maybe it was a false alarm, but maybe not. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry for all that racket I'm sure you had for my microphone. And let's release some shoulder rolls. I'm going to turn sideways just so you can have a better view here. We're going to make two fists. Oh, I need to move this. We're going to make two fists. We're going to put them at the top of our glutes. We're going to inhale and as we exhale, we're going to roll our shoulders and we're going to lean back, squeezing our elbows towards one another. And then very gently tuck your chin. Come back up tall. Inhale, and as you exhale, come forward into our forward fold. Let your head hang heavy. It's not going to fall off. And gently shake your head no. Gently nod your head yes. Inhale to prepare, and as we exhale, come all the way back up. Let's reach our arms up. Trying to keep your hands the same distance apart. Lean to one side, relax your shoulders. Oh, scratch your nose if you need to. Lean back up, inhale, exhale, go the opposite way. Slowly back up, bring your hands down. Inhale, exhale again, look over shoulder. Slowly back to the front. Inhale, exhale, look the opposite way. Turn 
Turning back to the front, cat and cow. Even if you're not suffering from any sort of neck or back discomfort, this is going to be really beneficial. It just helps nourish the spine, helps get that limbic system going. Last one, come back up nice and tall. Just give me one second, I got a window showed up on my, oh good grief, one of the apps on my computer is trying to install an update and I have to, it keeps trying to do it <laughs> and on, at inopportune times. So I just had to cancel that. Okay, let's, I lost my train of thought, oh neck. Let's bring one hand behind our back. I gotta move this darn thing again. And opposite hand goes on the head. You're gonna lower your nose towards your underarm very gently. You're not pulling on your head. And slowly lift up. Let's switch sides. Slowly lift up. A few shoulder rolls. And we're going to take one finger, just one finger, i got to move this, and put it on your chin. You're going to inhale, and as you exhale, you're going to turn just your head and back to the front. S opposite, I was going to say separate, opposite finger, turn one more time either side. And the reason we put this finger here is for some reason we're able to turn our head a whole lot further when we have one finger on it. I mean, this finger isn't strong enough to force your head any further. It just helps guide it. Slowly back to the front. Then we're going to extend one leg. Keep a bend in the knee. Same arm as leg reaches forward. Once you feel that stretch, go ahead and stay there. Keep lifting those toes. You want to stretch all along the back of the leg. And let's switch sides. A little bend in the knee. Same arm as leg. It reaches forward. Then you can relax the leg down. So those of you who are watching this on Facebook, because I will be downloading it and putting it on my YouTube channel for those who don't have Facebook, but if you're watching this on Facebook, just keep an eye on this Facebook event um, as we figure out if we're going to continue to broadcast them right in this event, or maybe I'm going to broadcast them directly from my page, or maybe we're going to create a new Facebook event. So just keep an eye out here, and we'll post so that you know what's happening. But now that the event is over, we can't share the classes the same way that we could before. Let's come back up, which is a bit of a bummer. So we'll figure that out and let you guys know. But classes are still going on. We're just in a weird little spot here. <laughs> All right. I'm going to come up a little bit closer. Right into your living room. We'll wait for this to focus. There we go. So we're going to do our finger dexterity exercises. So touching each finger to your thumb, making rounded circles.
And the same thing with straight fingers. I don't know if you guys all saw that paint by numbers I've been complaining about for the last month. I finished it on Sunday. I posted a picture in my main Facebook page. So if you click my name um, at the top here when we're done, it will take you over to my page and you'll be able to see this mysterious paint by numbers I've been talking about for ages. Let's do some more circles. I have boarded up a second one. I bought two at the same time. Both of them were the challenging level. I can't remember the exact number. Maybe I can. I think the one I finished had 2,470 little dots, little numbers that I had to paint palms together. This one is going to be a whole lot easier because it is 2,469. So it has one last dot. It, in some ways, it does look easier because there's a lot more... There's bigger spots to paint, um, but it's also a lot of like white and taupe colors and grays. So I think that's going to be hard. Let's bring the backs of the hands together, lifting up. If I get all my other stuff done, I might crack and do it today. I got it all set up, but I just didn't have the heart to start a new one on Sunday when I was still high on finishing the first one. And let's do some more circles. And one more time, let's do cat and cow, pressing down, rounding up. I'm right up close and personal now. And then we'll come up nice and tall and we're gonna sit back in our chair but still nice and high. I'm not slouching back. Roll my shoulders, rest my hands on my palms, closing your eyes or looking down towards the floor. And let's focus on our breath, our inhales and our exhales. Relaxing your jaw, your tongue, eyelids. Really thinking about breathing into your entire lung capacity, feeling your ribs expand. Really taking the time to fully exhale as well. We're a population of shallow breathers. So taking this time to really fully expand our lungs, breathing into those bottom lobes, and then exhaling, really exhaling, wringing out your lungs makes a big difference. Relax your arms, your hands. Let's really take a nice deep breath in for one, two, three, 
four and exhale two three four breathing in two three four and exhale two three four again breathe in and out breathe in relax those arms and out breathing in and out breathing in and out one more time this time on your exhale let your eyes flutter open a few more shoulder rolls And then let's just finish off with another round of those neck stretches. Lowering your ear towards your shoulder. Very gently lifting and lowering the opposite side. Gently lift, lower your chin towards your chest. Slowly lift up and let's turn gently to the front. Remember, this is just turning your head back to the front. Inhale, exhale, this time turning your whole torso slowly to the front. Inhale, exhale, look the opposite way. Back to the front, one hand behind your back, other on the head, lower your nose towards your underarm. Gently lifting and to the other side. And then my arm might come right off the screen here, but we're going to reach up and slightly over, relax that opposite shoulder. Gently coming up, same thing, other side. Slowly come back up, nice deep breath in, and exhale, and again, and exhale, one last time. And with that, we are finished. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Two things, watch this Facebook event um, so you'll know where we're going to be going live in the future, whether we're going to stay here in this event, go to a new one, or move to my Facebook page. This afternoon, I'm going to be doing a live cooking class on how to make lasagna. If you want to join that, um, just let me know. Make sure you're in the Wellness Simplified group. And other than that, have a great day, and I will see you on Friday and Friday. Oh, I'm not sure what kind of yoga we're going to do, but I will let you know that as well. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.